So I wanted a bandsaw, and unfortunately, most bandsaws with the 14 inch range and variable speed are not really affordable to me. I mean, paying $1,000 for a machine is probably about right, but I just don't really want to spend that much money to buy a bandsaw. And what I did here is I bought a really old bandsaw from the 1940s, put in a three phase induction motor that's controlled by a variable frequency drive or VFD for short. This has allowed me to have the features that I wanted for a price that's probably about half of what I would have paid in the retail store for a brand new bandsaw that's comparable. I also tend to like the way these older bandsaws look and the parts are readily available so to me it just felt like the right move. For supplemental information you can go to instructables.com where I'll be posting this for the Make It Move Challenge. So to start, the first thing you'll need is a bandsaw, a three-phase induction motor, I recommend a half horsepower to one horsepower, and a variable frequency drive. I started with wiring the motor first, so you can see my notes in red on the left for how I connected the cord to the motor. And I really had to use a YouTube video to learn how to wire this, and I'll leave a link in the description to the video that I used to learn how to wire a motor. So to wire the variable frequency drive, I pretty much followed the instructions from the KB Electronics manual. I connected the UV and W terminals for the output to the motor. I connected the L1 and L2 input line voltage from the power source. I set the power to 3 quarter horsepower and then I set the voltage input to 120 volts. Okay, so I'm gonna power this on and see if I can get this guy to spin. I'll be lying if I said I was super confident. Nothing exploded just now, so that's a good sign. Oh wow. To this bandsaw, which is an old Delta bandsaw, and I gotta replace that motor there with my new Balder motor and get this all to work. So once the motor and the VFD is all bench tested, it's time to mount the motor. And there's many ways to do this, and I'm just leaving some pictures here as examples. And you can see the intractables article that I published to get a little bit more insight and uh, along with being able to see the pictures better. So light switch is on. So that works. So after I got the pulley replaced, put on new bandsaw tires, I just played with the bandsaw and started with wood and I played with plastic and even cut some metal. And what this really did is it triggered my curiosity about what can be done with the variable frequency drive. And I think that if more people started tinkering around with this, we could have some really cool tools. I am kind of confused at why the other tool manufacturers or just companies in general haven't jumped on this and started making tools with three-phase induction motors and VFDs readily available. Um, I can understand that there's some safety factors, but I'm sure that they can figure out how to control that. 
if you've made it this far, I appreciate you watching and let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help anyone out if I can. I'm still a novice at playing with motors and bandsaws and yeah, it's just been really fun and I'm gonna play along play around a lot more with the with these motors and the VFD setup. And I hope uh more people do this too. I think it'll be cool to I guess see people being able to improve their shops and their equipment with equipment that's not as expensive. You don't have to break your bank to do this. Please like yeah. and subscribe if you can. Thank you. Seems to be the number. <laughs>